Hey guys, what is up? And today is going to be part 4 of the Batch game series. Now, what we're going to be covering today is the ability to upgrade your character stats, so adding HP and increasing the limiter stats. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is set the max HP to 100 and set the max mon HP also to 100. Now, if you may remember part 3 of the match game series, you may remember I referred to our... AK stats and C4 stats as check variables. The max mon HP and max HP are similar to those. I'll explain a little bit more as we get deeper into the tutorial. I'm also going to set the max AK to 2 and set the max C4 to 1. Now just let me scroll down and we are going to get rid of the ability to go to shop and save within the battle screen now the reason why is I don't want a user that let's say is losing to just go in pay two hundred dollars and just upgrade their HP on the fly and somehow manage to win I think that's unrealistic again this is your game I'm just showing you the basis of the engine so if you think I'm a complete noob that's up to you guys now I'm just going to make a new load screen, so I'm just going to say echo, press B to go to battle, echo, press S to save, and finally, echo, press H to go to the shop. Now I'm just going to say set slash P load sc equals if load sc equals equals s go to save let's just scroll down a bit if load sc equals equals e go to battle and finally if load sc equals equals H, go to shop. I'm just gonna say go to load SC if the user doesn't click any of these. Now I'm just gonna scroll down to shop. I'm gonna say echo, press H and pay 200 to add 25 HP. Echo press AK to add one to add to your AK limiter and pay let's say 700 let me just say echo press C4 to add to your C4 limiter and pay let's say 1000 now I'm just gonna say if shop equals equals let's say H go to HP add if shop equals equals AK go to AK add and finally if shop equals equals let's say C4 go to C4 add so you go to shop if the user does not press any of those now let's just make a marker for HP add now I'm just gonna say if money LSS or less than 200 go to load SC 
then I'm gonna say set slash a money equals money minus 200 then I'm gonna say set slash a max HP equals max HP plus 25 then I'm gonna say set slash a max mon HP equals max mon HP plus let's say 10 now the reason why I'm doing this is let's say you are getting really deep in the game or you've played for a while and you've upgraded your character stats specifically the HP I don't want you let's say five months down the road to be able to have a thousand HP compared to a hundred monster HP that really isn't realistic so it's just gonna go up naturally a bit I'm just gonna say go to load SC now I'm going to make the C4 add now this is also where our check variables comes in so in this case C4 status I'm just gonna say if not C4 status EQU or equals sorry guys EQU or equals active go to load SC now the reason why I'm pointing this little string of code is that I don't want a user to just go in pay before pay for additional limits on your C4 limiter without actually having the use of the C4 and then when they just buy the C4 or the AK depending on what weapon they just have like 10 limits already to start out with I think that's unrealistic again guys I will repeat myself again I am not a weapons expert or I don't know how you feel about this again you can always get rid of this or change it that's up to you now I'm gonna say if money is less than what was our price again 1000 I believe yep go to load SC then I'm gonna say set slash a money equals money minus 1000 then I'm gonna say set slash a max c4 equals max c4 plus one then i'm just gonna say go to load sc now i'm just gonna make the ak add and the same thing so i'm just gonna say if not ak status equ or equals active go to load SC I'm gonna say if money LSS or less than 700 I believe the price is let's just check yep 700 go to load SC then set slash a money equals money minus 700 I'm just gonna say set slash a max ak equals max ak plus one then go to load sc now one quick note here guys if you remember our load sc screen we're gonna have to change some of our markers like for example in the new marker or go to markers to go to load sc rather than battle so I'm just gonna put an annotation so you guys can skip over this if you want to. But anyways, let's just do this. So load SC, load SC. That's load SC, load SC. AK buy. We're gonna have to change that to load SC. load SC load SC load SC 
Let's just see this. Now we're just going to scroll down here. And we'll just make that. Load SC and load SC. Now that we're done changing our markers from battle to load SC for most of them, except for our attacks, right here, the if not for our C4, we're just going to have to add our variables to be loaded and saving. So let's just do that. So I'm just going to say set slash P max HP equals set slash P mon HP equals set slash P max C4 equals and set slash P max AK equals. Now I'm just gonna have to go down to save and make sure you remember to keep your variable order the same. So I'm just gonna take a quick note of that right now. So max HP, mon HP, C4, and AK. Let's just scroll down and save. So echo max HP. Echo max mon HP. Echo was it C4? Let me just check guys. Yep, it was C4. So I'm just gonna say max C4 and echo max AK. Oh, I forgot to change that to load SC. My bad guys. Okay, so now if you may remember, I believe the first or second tutorial, we we're talking about resetting the limiter. So we're just gonna say set HP equals max HP set mon HP equals max mon HP there my bad guys I made a mistake there max mon HP set C4 limiter I believe was the variable name I'm just checking guys just to make sure yep C4 limit Set C4 limit equals max C4. We can get rid of this. We're just going to set the gun limit to 4. We will set the AK limit to max AK. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. So copy, get rid of that, and paste it, and just let me copy the gun limit, paste that. Now here's my chance to explain how or why we had max HP and rat So let's just scroll up. Now this HP is a constant variable changing. So during the battle, let's say you used your gun, this might go down to, let's say, 78 or something like that on the mon HP. This is just a battle stat variable. This has nothing to do with the actual loading or the max HP of the game. But this max HP is something that stays constant throughout. So let's say you did pay for additional HP. It's added to the max HP. Now, the reason why it's doing that is is that this is relatively constant and since we are setting our HP to equal our max HP it makes sense now let's just save that and let's see how this game plays out I'm just gonna say coders cuts now let's just go to shop let's add for HP and let's go to battle now the reason why it hasn't changed yet is as you can see in our code it just goes back to load SC now if we wanted it to change the moment after we bought it this is what we're gonna have to do so let's just go to our load SC I'm just gonna make a battle one 
let's just make that one click and then we're just gonna do the same thing we did for the win or loss column so let's just do that right now we don't need our gun limit in this case so it's just gonna be really quick so let's just scroll up there now, the reason why we don't need our gun limiter is that since it's fresh and you haven't played yet that's really why and it, it's probably automatically already reset to four so that's the reason behind it i'm just gonna say go to battle now let's save that and check out our game so let's just say we are a new user say closure studs i'm just gonna say go to shop add hp then go to battle so as you can see we paid for additional hp and now our hp is at 125 now let's just go in again and set our money to 10,000 for now so I can or a million depending on whatever it is so we can test out the additional limiter so let's just go to end new user put your sets uh, let's just say go to the shop let's buy the AK let's go to the shop again let's buy an additional AK limit now let's go to battle now keep in mind guys if we didn't pay for the AK limiter or yeah the AK limiter was originally set to two since we pay for it it's not going to be set to three so let's check it out one two three so three is allowed now let's see four and the fourth use of it is not allowed let me just finish up this game and I lost whatever guys now that is going to be your fourth batch game series tutorial i know it was a pretty long one and a kind of a little bit all over the place tutorial but again guys code will be down in the description below so if you don't want to hear me or you were typing this all out it's a lot easier so in the description and i'm happy to announce i have surpassed 4,000 views so thank you coders test nation um and make sure to leave a like and a comment down in the description below to make sure you want to influence the series and new features you want to be added to this game. And please give me your thoughts on a Coders Tuts live streaming or a coding live stream. That I think that would be a cool idea. Give me your thoughts on that. And one more thing, please make sure to share this video with friends who you think this might be of use to. And the most important thing here, guys, is thank you for watching. I know this was a long one, but I appreciate your time.